going on a little New England road trip for the next few weeks. And uh, first stop is in Bridgeport, Connecticut at this man's grave, P.T. Barnum. By now, especially with that movie, everyone certainly knows who this guy was. Love him or hate him, he was a pretty good businessman. Made a pretty good living. Of course, P.T. Barnum is known more for his three ring circuses, his traveling circuses, but actually he didn't even really get started in that until relatively late in his life at 60 years old. Before that, he had the big museum, the American Museum in New York City, which was um, just had a lot of oddities, animals, things like that. In fact, that's really, that's really where he got started with the freaks. He's known for his freak shows and things like that. And I use that word freaks as that's, that's what it was known for back then. Um, also known for things like Jumbo, the huge elephant, and General Tom Thumb, which was the, the little person that he took on and um, provided a, a great career for him. In fact, that, that man is buried here as well, not far away. I'm gonna take you to uh, Tom Thumb's grave as well. Phineas Taylor Barnum, not my will, but thine be done. This is really the family plot here with uh, his wife, Charity. And this just says his daughter, Frances J. Uh, I, I thought he had more kids than that. I thought he had at least two daughters, but. Clinton Barnum Seeley. I don't know too much about this family history here with them. It wasn't until 1881 that Barnum partnered with James Bailey, and that would go on to create the Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus, which most people know him from. Uh, I believe Ringling Brothers was their own act, their traveling act, so everybody kind of came together in the late 1800s. And that circus obviously had a great run. And I think as of today, 2021, it is no more, at least not in the way that we all came to know circuses. While I'm walking over to the uh, Tom Thumb grave, I wanted to definitely say that an interesting fact about P.T. Barnum, a misconception, a lot of people believe that he coined the phrase, there's a sucker born every minute. And there's really no evidence of him ever saying that. Um, it was, it's more likely that it was um, news reporters that were standing in line or reporting on his uh, museum in New York City talking about the people who were standing in line to go inside and see that show, the suckers. I mean, P.T. Barnum was kind of known for being kind of a, a hoodwinker, you know, kind of a, you know, some people would say he was a little sleazy for the way he did business. Uh, so most likely that phrase really came from the newspapers, but this is uh, Tom Thumb. This is his, his grave, his monument. Apparently that's life size up there. Now this says he was only three feet, four inches tall. So, you know, approximately 40 inches. Died July 15th, 1883 at age 45 years old. Huh, I don't know who that is. Age three months.
I don't know who these people are. So if you want to come out and see Tom Thumb's grave or uh, P.T. Barnum's grave, this is at the Mountain Grove Cemetery here in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Beautiful cemetery, by the way. Getting back on the road for my big adventure up into New England. So stay tuned. Many videos coming. Thanks for watching.